the wife is not praying, he must pray. So he can't be angry only. How come you are just changing gear in sleep? He said, please, please, pray. Up. She can remote. Change channel. Keep food. Eat. If he gets angry, get another room. Lock yourself inside. Dear husband said his wife will be cooking. He will lock himself inside. And told his wife, don't open the door. Only go inside. You can only perceive the aroma through windows. So then close the window. That's why when my wife begins to cook those fine, fine things, I pack myself and leave for the office. So that I can be alone. So not be distracted. The vision is my own. The vision for the redemption of man was for Jesus. Not for Jesus and Peter and James and John. He was to bet it. That was why when the mother of James and John came and said, Let my son sit at your right hand and at your left hand. Jesus said, Will they be willing to drink of the cup that I shall drink? The mother said, Yes, they will drink. And those two men said they will drink. Christ said, No problem. I will drink the first one. And the remaining cups you will drink. And guess what? Every believer has a cup to drink. He drank the first one as the pattern savior. If you will emerge as a savior, there is a cup for you. It was that cup that Jesus knelt down on the garden of Gethsemane and said, Father, if it be thy will, take away this cup. That cup, the content of that cup was three things. Number one, penalty of sin. That was the first thing that was in the content of that cup. Number two, Separation from God. Number three, death. Jesus looked at it. Jesus Christ, in the early days of his ministry, he made a very powerful statement. He said, My father has never left me. Remember? He said, Because I do what pleases me. My father has never left him. Only for him to look into the cup. He said, The father will leave him. Ah! He has never stayed away outside the presence of the Father. So he couldn't imagine how it would look like and for how long. But when he saw it eventually, dead. All of these three things were in the cup. And the more he prayed, Father, take it away. The more the Father did not answer him. Then finally, the third time he said, If it be thy will that I drink this cup. That's going to be one of the prayers we will pray here. Lord, give me my cup. Give me my cup. Please, can I talk to you? The earlier you drink it, the better. Pastor Chukudi, what you're doing now, this is the best time to do it. I tell pastors who begin church as a single person, that's the best option. Except God did not tell you when you were single. But if he gave you the vision when you were single, I started when I was single. There are certain price you can pay as a single person that you would not pay when your wife is around. Like now, he can shut down Oyo and show up in this place. If there was a wife, he could take him back. Many meetings have not been able to attend. I told him, thank God your meeting is now. Because if the meeting was for last month, I wouldn't have come. There's no way I would have left my wife who was pregnant. I didn't show up in Fekka Convention because my wife told me she's going to deliver that day. And we waited and she didn't deliver. Prepared to leave for Dunamis meeting. My wife said she would deliver. She didn't deliver. I missed those two meetings. Because there's no way I can go. I'm the one that caused it. So under the principle of seed time and harvest. For whatever I did in secret. I shall be rewarded openly. Like what your pastor has done already. Very soon there shall be a reward. And his expectation will not be cut short. The best time to pay the price is now. It is good for a young man to bear the yoke while he's young. Please hear this sister. Carry it now. Marriage should not be your desire. Carry it now. Lord, whatever it is I need to do for you, cause me to imagine now. Marriage could be a challenge in many assignments. Especially when it was not discovered at an early, st early stage. So we see Jesus cry to the Father. And the Bible tells us 
The father did not respond. Then eventually, Christ needed to drink of that cup. We all know what happened. Now, please give me your attention. I want to just quickly say something. Then we we'll begin to pray. We we'll begin to pray. Just give me your attention. Do you know where Adam died? Adam didn't die in the Garden of Eden. Hope you are aware of that. He was driven out of the Garden of Eden. Are you aware of that? Shortly after he sinned, God brought in that angel, the cherub, who stood there with the flaming sword. So Adam and Eve could not have access anymore. The place Adam died is the place called Golgotha. That's why it's called the place of skull. That word skull was Adam's skull. And that is where the Garden of Gethsemane is. Can I connect them? Please hear this. The battles we fight is called the battles of the garden. The battles of the garden. 